Okay, for science today. So this is this, this afternoon's science lesson. You will find a sheet on Shobi that looks like this. And that's what you need to have open. All right, so you are going to find out which ice cube will melt fastest. One in the sun, one in the shade, and one in the fridge. Now, you may already know the answer, but part of it is following through the process. So the first thing you need to do is to predict which ice, cream, ice block will change from solid to liquid quickest. All right, so up here, you need to number them, one, two, three, in the order you think they will melt the fastest. All right, so I have three plates, all the same size, all made from the same material. I have three ice blocks, well I have lots of ice blocks, and I'm about to get three. I'll probably end up with a lot more than that. Um, I'm going to pick three that are the same size, so, and put them in the same position onto my plate. Why do you think it is important to have them the same size and on the same plate? Have a think about that. They are the things that we have to control, the things that need to be the same to make it a fair experiment. So take your three ice cubes of the same size, put them on the same plates. One needs to go in the sun, so I'll put it outside. One in the shade and the other one goes in the fridge. When you have done that, keep a good eye on them so that you can see in which order they melt. Then you are to draw a picture. So there's a diagram section. You can draw a picture for each one, maybe in the melting process. From there, you need to fill in your results. So I'm looking at this sheet here. Fill in your results. Most of it's done for you. You just have to fill, them, fill in the gaps. And then write, why did they melt in this order? So think about what was changed so that they melted in a particular order and write about that. Then there are some questions for you to do at the bottom. What other solids can be changed to liquids? So solid to liquid. So think of some things. I would think you should come up with at least five things that can change from a solid to a liquid. Second one, what needs to happen to make this occur? What do we need to make this occur? It's a chemical reaction. So what do we have to add to it to make it change from a solid to a liquid? What needs to be done to turn the liquid back into into a solid. So again, it's a chemical reaction. What do you need to do to solids to change them back? Uh, sorry, yes, change it back into a solid. And the last one, how could we change the liquid into a gas? Uh, think about the kettle that's in your kitchen. And think about what we need to do to change a liquid into a gas. Okay, so have a go at the experiment, put them out, put one outside in direct sun, one in the shade, one in the fridge, watch them. You might even like to time how long it takes to do them, for them to melt, fill out the rest of the sheet, and then answer the questions. Please have some real good thoughts on that rather than just a really quick couple of words. Uh, make sure you do your prediction first before you start your experiment.